What has happened yesterday night in Paris, a very interesting, a sad story occurred. That was uh, the fire uh, happened at the top of, at the roof of the Notre Dame Cathedral. Paris, uh, as uh, almost uh, for the whole world, is presented by two symbolic, iconic elements. One was uh, Notre Dame uh, Cathedral, and the second one was the Eiffel Tower. As a matter of fact, later I will tell, there was an uh, interesting link between two of them because the link comes from the uh, second renovation or restoration of uh, Notre Dame uh, Cathedral. Eugène Violet Le Duc is an architect and restorator and a historian. Uh, he was uh, restoring the Notre Dame. He had the spire, which yesterday night fell down. Actually, there was no spire in the original Notre Dame. As a matter of fact, there was a lot of things before which has been destroyed. So we had a first catastrophe during 19th century, second um, also in the French Revolution, although French Revolution was a, a kind of a, a proper reaction, but uh, the damage they caused was not very proper, actually. Later, they understood the mistake, but it was impossible to restore it. Anyway, uh, Eugène Gueule Le Duc was getting the construction of uh, ribs, construction of uh, Gothic cathedrals, particularly the Notre Dame, while he was restoring it and he applied it to cast iron structures, which Eiffel, Gustav Eiffel, engineer, was also being, uh, you know, uh, inspired by that uh, studies. So that was the link of uh, also Labrust did the same thing in uh, Bibliothèque saint Geneviève and also the Parthenon, which is the old name, St. Genevieve uh, Church, was uh, using the cast iron uh, systems. All of them is coming from the restoration of the Gothic Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris. It was said, uh, I don't know, uh, the story is very important because it took almost more than 150 years to build it, which is uh, 1150. Uh, it was built uh, according to the, uh, you know, uh, Wikipedia by Bishop Maurice de Suy and was largely completed around 1260. And I'm reading again, it was modified frequently in the ensuing centuries in the 1790s Notre Dame suffered desecration during the Fr French Revolution, humiliated. Much of its religious imagery was damaged or destroyed, as I mentioned before. In 1804, the cathedral was the site of the coronation of Napoleon I as Emperor of France and witnessed the baptism of Henri Court of Chambord in 1821 and the funerals of several presidents and third French Republic. So it became uh, famous in terms of officially. Second, it was a fantastic, sophisticated structure which gave way to other cathedrals of uh, France, like Amiens, uh, I don't know exactly, probably Rouen, and uh, some important uh, cathedrals. So it became a leading figure in terms of cathedral buildings of 14th century. 
and second, during 19th century, 1831, Victor Hugo wrote a book, a novel, Hunchback of Notre Dame. Quasimodo was the name of that uh, uh, bell man was jumping and holding the rope of the bell and while his weight was pulling down and the bell was moving you can imagine a uh, 70 kilograms of man is moving a huge three meters probably uh, diameter of a I think bronze or metal uh, bell that's very interesting so the physic law there is pulling and uh, triggering and everything you know uh, was fantastic scene so the Parisians via the novel get involved with this beautiful cathedral. Actually, the cathedral was a center of a huge complex, includes bishop palace, uh, bishopry, official workrooms, monk cells, backyards, and uh, in front of what they call is Parvi, uh, the Notre Dame means the courtyard of Notre Dame, and uh, Maison Dieu means uh, like Italian Ospedale uh, Innocenti, but this is for elderly people. Uh, in Turkey, we have Darul Ajize, similar of that, and it was the uh, hotel of the elderly people. They call it the God's House. They have free lodging and uh, st staying there and uh, having meal and being treated as well. So what happened at towards the end of the 19th century, uh, a lack of probably uh, maintenance, uh, all the money went to church and the rest was maybe or may not be but the art historians was focused on the object rather than the whole complex and then to glorify the site they destroyed the glory of the old site and they cleaned what Italian calls this tabula rasa they raised the table, erased everything, and then it became an object. It became a bijut bijouterie, like a jewel. Although it's beautiful, but you see it from everywhere. It looks like uh, you don't have any surprises. You see it wherever you go, you can see it as a complete item, as a complete structure. Before it was, you see some part of it as a silhouette, but through the streets, you see certain parts of it, and while you approach to it, then you see the whole facade. So it is step by step, you are changing different worlds, world within a world. It was not like today, there is only one world, it is open, and here it is, this structure. Even today, uh, when we watch on the TV, the burning roof and the later edit falling spire, which was a very dramatic uh, scene, uh, we can see it because of the position of the cameras 
it was like the Middle Ages. You see the certain parts of the building and you see other buildings behind, there is a plane and you are not watching as a tourist that, oh, here it is empty. No, it was by mistake or by chance, it was like a Middle Age scenery, you know. So you are within the fabric of the city and see the uh, whole thing. Now, uh, a friend of mine asked today, what makes it important, this uh, cathedral? Uh, why we are talking, why we are making a film about it and why I am stupidly talking about it. <laughs> First of all, there is a history there. That means that there is a story. A story tells you a lot of things, which give you impetus or which gives you some energy, some inspiration that, or a spine that you can add something on it. It is a big chain that you can add one more and one more and one more and one more. So history was not a past. History is a long line. We are somewhere on it. And uh, in that sense, this building tells a lot to us first. Second, officially it was a center. Second, center of uh, ceremonial and imperial. And the third, it was a center of the religious belief, whether you accept or not. But it is, as a fact, the center and also its name tells uh, the Virgin Mary in terms of, in English, Our Lady. Uh, so, like, name includes everything. And the fourth is the novel and the movie made out of it, which uh, now I am going back to the, you know, uh, last night while I was watching it, all those things passed in front of me. I wrote to my French uh, friend and I told him, uh, I am watching uh, in sorrow and sadness this terrible event and uh, I share with you whatever your feeling is and please give my concern to all of my friends in Geneva. So my dear friends, uh, this was one of the interesting events. We don't know the cause yet, but by this way, we remember the Middle Age uh, monument in uh, super modern time. So, what a link. No? <laughs> Just a fire almost took 800 years away, burned 800 years, and stick together 13th century up to today. Lovely, so there is no old, there is time. That's all about it. Thank you. Thank you so much for such an amazing knowledge, such an amazing interview. You're welcome. My pleasure.